welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to share with you guys my foundation routine for acne prone skin and for covering up of acne scars so although most of the time I'm not bothered by how my skin looks and most of the time I'm just bare face sometimes I just need this you know for important events for filming and for the days where I am insecure about my skin so ever since I developed this foundation routine for myself I realized that my confidence level has increased so much because I know that I will always have this routine to help keep my skin looking matte and flawless for the entire day. There are two main points about this foundation routine which I feel makes it suitable for people with a similar skin as mine aka oily, acne prone with acne scars. So the first one is the products I use are mostly safe for the skin which will help prevent more breakouts, prevent more inflammation, more clogging or sensitizing of the skin. Secondly, it has high coverage and long lasting properties. Before I dive into the makeup products, I want to briefly mention the moisturizer and sunscreen I'm using because that will essentially be my base. So the current daytime moisturizer I'm using has been the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. If you're applying this moisturizer on damp skin, which you should, uh, this moisturizer can get a little bit streaky if you over apply. Uh, for people with acne prone skin, it's also not a good idea to overuse your moisturizers and so it's best to stick with a pea size amount. After which, I will wait for like a minute or two before I apply my sunscreen and the current sunscreen I've been using is the Bioderma Photoderm Spot H SPF 50. So this sunscreen has a really lovely lightweight consistency and it also doesn't leave a white cast. So after gently patting on my sunscreen, it's finally time to move on to the foundation routine. So I'm going to begin with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Liquid Foundation. This foundation comes in a wide variety of shades and I'm using the shade 2C3 Fresco which is the perfect match for my skin. Since this one doesn't come with a pump and I refuse to spend extra money on it, uh, I can't tell you exactly how much I use because it changes every time but hopefully you can see from the footage this is roughly the amount I use for my entire face, neck as well as down to my chest. To blend the foundation, if you want something with a higher coverage, you can use your fingers but I like to use a damp beauty blender with it. This is the only foundation that I've used in my life that has successfully kept my skin looking flawless for the entire day. Because I have oily skin, I suppose, most foundations tend to make my skin look blotchy by the end of the day, but not this foundation. Because this foundation has high coverage, there is absolutely no need for you to apply a super thick layer of it. Um, I feel like with this foundation alone, it is able to conceal at least like 70% of my acne scars and for me, I feel like that's good enough because I'm I'm gonna go in with a concealer later on anyway. Finally, my favorite thing about this foundation is that it is formulated to help control excessive sebum production, it is oil free, it is fragrance free, it is alcohol free and paraben free which makes it safe and non-comedogenic for the skin and therefore guilt free to wear. Even though it feels like this just sticks onto your skin, it dissolves and comes off easily with micellar water and I like to ensure that the cotton pad comes out clean before I move on to cleanse with my facial cleanser. To conceal the remaining of my acne scars, I will use the Benefit Boeing Industrial Strength Concealer. Um, unfortunately, this concealer only comes in three limited shades and so I'm using shade number two which is a medium. But what I like most about this concealer is that it has an extremely high coverage. I feel like if I were to use this concealer on its own, it will be able to cover up like 100% of my acne scars which is amazing. In the past with other concealers, I always find a need to layer my concealer and like thick layers but with this concealer, I find that I only require one or for the super fresh and new acne marks, two very thin and light layers. Because the texture of this concealer is quite waxy and thick, I didn't find the need to set it with a powder as well. So in terms of the ingredients, this concealer is alcohol and fragrance free but it does contain some fatty alcohols, a bunch of waxes and a mineral oil which can cause clogging and so I recommend you to apply this only when and where necessary. Like don't use this to conceal your dark eye circles, it's too thick for that and will definitely crease and try not to go above too layers because that might not only cause clogging but also caking. Regardless, if you're looking for a concealer that's great at concealing acne marks and scars, check this one out. The final step and product is optional, not that necessary but I like to just think of it as an insurance for my foundation routine. So the very last product I want to mention is the Pure Press Base Mineral Foundation from Jane Airedale. 
This product is highly raved by a skin coach that I used to follow. Her name is Olena because this is non-comedogenic, it is safe for the skin, and it also has high coverage. If you want to know more details about this foundation, you can check out her content about it. I believe she has some videos and blog posts about this foundation. Personally, I didn't quite like using this as my main foundation and neither did I like to use this on my entire face because I find that by the end of the day, it tends to make my skin look cakey and blotchy even when I use it with a brush. So for me, I just like to use this to set and also provide some extra coverage to the areas where I have the very stubborn to conceal acne marks. So I will just lightly dab the sponge on top of those areas instead of setting my entire face with it. As I've mentioned, the first two products don't really require setting powders and so I only do this step when I'm wearing my makeup for the entire day, like from 6am to 11pm. Before I conclude this video, one final advice I want to give is even if the products, be it skincare or makeup, are non-comedogenic and oil-free, overusing heavy products like moisturizers or liquid foundations can still cause clogging and so it's really important to pay attention to how much you're actually applying and obviously when it comes to makeup, it's really important that you remove all of them before you go to bed every night. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Please let me know if you have decided to try any of the products mentioned in this video and let me know how that worked out for you because I would love to know that. And if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. And I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!